Richmond, King Kong crowned himself as the 92 Hamiltonian favorite. Midway through the stretch, King Kong held off the challenge of Armbro Keepsake and appeared to be headed to victory. Now giving it up along the inside, Al Palima, and Al Palima finds room along the inside to win it. But no, it was the unsung entry made Al Palima, a Colt Erickson co-owned, who squeezed through on the rail to give pair back-to-back -back Hamiltonian triumphs, something only five other trainers have done in the 67-year history of the Hamiltonian. I mean, when he come up on the inside there, it was a very big surprise, I have to say that. You know, I just kept my own King Kong, you know, and uh, I never even think about Alp, you know. I, you know, in the back of my mind, I hope him to get the check, you know. Alp's success continued. He captured the rich World Trotting Derby and was favored in the Colonial at Rosecroft until he suffered a hoof injury and has been sidelined ever since, forced to miss the Breeders' Crown. You have chicken one night and feathers the next, and no one knows that better than Pear. When you are doing good, that's the main thing. I think that like we try to enjoy it so much we can, you know, because I've been in so long, I know it's turning around faster. And <laughs> Last year was a season to remember for Ericsson. It wasn't just the Peter Houghton victory or the Hamiltonian win or the two breeders' crowns, but all those combined with marriage to his wife, Tina. It made 1992 a year pair will never forget. Tina now runs the stable, and together, they make quite a team. Oh, that means a lot. It'd be very tough for me if she don't like this, because I'm really never home. But now we're together when, you know, she works for me all day long, and everything is around these horses 24 hours. So it helps. I think it's very important, because this business, uh, if the one partner is that in it, they don't believe how much. It's not just a work, it's like a lifestyle. So you really have to understand it to be able to live with it. It's never easy, even at the top. Expectations increase, and so does the pressure. Pear feels the pressure, but finds ways to overcome it by throwing himself into the work he so loves. Uh, always hungry for more success. And he's never satisfied. I mean, he's, of course, he, after a good race, he's very happy, but it's never enough for him. He's a very hard worker, and not just training and driving horses also like you see him raking he's doing all everything and he's very concerned about the horses too he really he likes them a lot it's not just a business for him so there you have it Ericsson's blueprint for success makes equal parts hard work with lots of luck and love of a good woman <laughs>